now, with that being said, let's watch Brendan Schaub make what I think is one of his funniest and wildest claims yet. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, Brendan on the Brendan Schaub show. Another criticism about Brendan. He has too many different shows. Fighter and the Kid. Well, he's going to have one less show pretty soon. Because Theo Vaughn left the King and the Sting, and that was the only uh, other oh, than that's hate, that. Yeah, other than hate watchers, th that was the only thing keeping people watching that show was they really liked Theo Vaughn. He's gone because he sees Brendan as an albatross, and Theo Vaughn's career is taking off while Brendan's is going down. Gringo Poppy, bro. Uh, so Theo got out while the getting was good. So now Brendan's struggling along. I think he's got a, the Shab show, the fighter and the kid. He's still got the Theo Vaughn thing for as long as that lasts. And then I think he's got a food truck show and maybe even an MMA. He's got like five or six shows. Jeez. Too many. I mean, this is a guy who can't hold a co coherent thought and speak properly for one half of one show. And he's going to have four or five more. Go on, queen. But this is maybe his greatest claim yet. And this is how you know that you have eliminated all the people who criticize you and have nothing but yes men around you. Nobody refutes this claim. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Brendan Schaub making your jaw hit the floor. And also, why does he always look like he has a broken jaw? Like he's always puffy and, you know, I think that's where the not being able to form words properly come from is the fact that I think he wakes up in the morning and chews gravel for breakfast. And that's why the jaw is always fucked up. His gums are probably sliced open. His teeth are breaking off at the gum line because he just looks like a rock-munching idiot. But he's going to prove that wrong by this next statement. Okay. So with the rock, dude, you got your tequila that's popping. But again, I'm the alley cat version of the rock. If you smell la, 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 what the shop is cooking. Oh, smells like bullshit. <laughs> I love this. Alley cat. He's the alley cat version of the rock. You see, like the rock, he lives in penthouses and, you know, he's not hungry anymore. You know, Brendan Schaub, he's like the rock, but he hustles. Brendan, you're doing a podcast for a few thousand people. The Rock is the highest grossing movie star in the world. Alley Cat, Alley Cat, what are you cooking? Right? I'm the poor man's version of The Rock. I got my whiskey. I got my merch. I got, you know, I'm touring. He's doing all his shit. <laughs> it's compared. First of all, Brendan, John Cena is the poor man's rock. Everybody knows this. Number two, if you have an action movie and the budget's B level instead of A level, you get Cena. Number two, Brendan. The Rock has a vodka that is available all over the world. You're shilling your whiskey for Rogan fans. That's it. You got to show it on. Well, you showed it to Rogan and Rogan pissed all over it. He says, yeah, the whiskey's good, but the name's fucking stupid. Funniest part is Brendan named it after his kid. That's what you should do. Name a booze after an, a minor. That's a great, Brendan, great. <laughs> the Rock would make that business move. The Rock would absolutely make that business move. You're the alley cat version of The Rock, meaning he's got rabies and other communicable diseases, oh. I believe is what he's trying to say. <laughs> yeah, Because the truck is parked in the alley and you walk the people to the truck. And when you're the alley cat version of The Rock, you get all kinds of sicknesses from walking to the truck that's in the alley when you're the alley cat version of The Rock. But I love the comparisons. We're going to go back and listen to this again. I love how he compares himself to The Rock. Like, The Rock's got a tequila. I've got a whiskey. And then after that, the comparisons trail off. And he really tries to force those two kind of being the same guy. The merch is popping. The merch is popping, yeah. Right, like, if you compare units of, like, The Rock during the Attitude Era at WWE and what's going on over at Thick Boy... I'm sure they're neck and neck mm. or at least an alley cat level of that number. You know, I used to think Brendan was stupid. I, I still think Brendan's stupid. Okay. All right. <laughs> but I didn't know that the stupidity was based in willful ignorance and insanity. I didn't know it was based in this guy. I mean, I got to give Brendan credit for this. He has completely shut out the outside world created his own world and lived in it and nothing gets through the bubble. It's amazing to me that he's pulled that off. 
So for those of you who want to yeah. shit all over this video, let me tell you this about Brendan. I do respect one thing. That guy has created his delusion. He has enforced the borders of that delusion and nothing crosses those borders. It's a, And if it does, he flies it out to Martha's Vineyard. There you go. He gets it the fuck out of there. Let's listen to Brendan again. Let's take it piece by piece. How he and The Rock are similar. Bro, you're not even alley cat Joe Rogan. All right? Let's take it easy on The Rock shit. They're like this, bro. You do, the Rock and I, he'd get me. Let's so with The Rock, dude, you got your tequila that's popping. But again, I'm the alley cat version of The Rock, right? I'm the poor man's version of The Rock. This is the part where if you had anybody around you employed by you with any fucking balls, they would go, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on a minute, stop. Brendan, I need you to walk that back. I need to like men in black flashy thing you because what you said might be the most retarded thing I've ever heard in my entire fucking life. Ever, Brendan. Like if he said this shit on Rogan, he'd crucify him. I got my whiskey. I got my merch. I got, you know, I'm touring. He's doing all his shit. <laughs> so that's my favorite one. He's doing all his shit. I'm touring. He's doing all this shit. Do you mind if I translate that out of Brendan mean, into normal like person? Movies, you know. And, oh. I'm performing to 100 seat comedy theaters that are half full. The Rock is making international box Multi office topping movies. Dollar films, yes, films, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like saying, look, I'm like the poor man's uh, Bill Clinton. You know, I'm the mayor of Shoreview, Minnesota. He's the president of the United States. We're simpatico, bro. We get each other. We understand management on a governmental level. He's got his tequila that's popping. He's got his merch that's popping. I wear my thick boy shirts on my seven podcasts so I can sell 15 units a day. <laughs> I do. I'm touring. I'm performing at the smallest comedy clubs in mid-market areas that are barely selling. I'm getting outsold by felt puppets. And meanwhile, The Rock, you know, he's doing his thing, which is showing up on Good Morning America every Tuesday and plugging the new movie that he's in. You're right, Brendan. You and The Rock. I mean, it, yeah, honestly, if I'm The Rock, I watch my back. Oh, yeah, he's coming. Because Thick Boy's coming for you. <laughs> I got to, I'm sorry, guys. I got to hear it one more time. Right. So with The Rock, dude, you got your tequila that's popping. But again, I'm the alley cat version of the rock, right? I'm the. <laughs> what? That you're going to get hit by a, you're going to get shanked by a fucking homeless man. Fingers crossed. Am I right? Poor man's version of the rock. I got my whiskey. I got my merch. I got. I got my merch. Right. You and the rock. I mean, the stuff you sell. Same thing. You know, I'm touring. He's doing all his shit. So with the... <laughs> I'm touring. He's doing all his shit. Being trusted with two hundred fifty million dollar or billion dollar movie franchises, yeah. And you know, I go and tell dick jokes for twenty minutes at uh, a comedy club that's got fifty people in it. It's like the same thing, you guys. Yeah. You know, he's doing all of these movies and being an international superstar. I shoot my special five times so I can get twenty five minutes out of it and release the worst one that's ever made, dude. The Tooth Fairy is better than the Gringo Poppy. The Tooth Fairy. You could take The Rock's worst day, and he wouldn't trade it for Brendan Schaub's best. Let's go to the audience on this.